All right, the last idea in this series. You're thinking, what in the world am I looking at here? Yes, you are looking at RAM fingers from Laptop RAM. I just processed 62 pieces to put on two trays. That was one short of completing the whole thing. Weird. Okay, we got that tearing out. Oh, let's see. My guess is 65 grams. 67.4. And that was a true guess. Alright, so 67.4 grams. We're going to put them on the racks. Get the solution mixed up. And we'll be back when things are rocking and rolling. Alright, let's load it up. Two trays deep. Got a piece of plexiglass, custom cut over top of this, just in case the uh, the air is a little too intense and wants to blow these off. You know, so we're going to put something weight to weight that down, so it keeps everything internal to the trays as much as possible. The turbulence, the agitation, oxidation, all sides. There's no, there's no part of these fingers really except real along this horizontal rail where the folds will be blocked to the oxidation and the agitation with acids. So we're loaded to bear. We're going to mix the solution and get to it. See what happens. So here we go. We're mixing up a, another 600 milliliters of solution. I already got one liter in there. It's probably going to take about two and a half liters. Yep, just as I suspected, it's going to have require right around 2.5 liters between 2.3 and 2.5 liters on the button. And why do I have a sneaking suspicion this is going to make a horrible mess? All right, that's too. Uh, that's just too cool. Yeah, we're getting an uneven agitation here, but this is all trial and error. We got that clear shield on top. We don't even have the top on this. And you can see it's. Quite violent in there. It's what to float, though, that's for sure. We're going to have to get some uh, more weights here, something to weigh this down. And there it is. Yeah, we just went ahead and stuck a bunch of change in a Tupperware. It's not spewing everywhere. That's not too bad for the very first start. I've got three, and plus the end, airports, in here that's releasing air. And that seems to be doing quite well. If you can pick up on that, almost a current being formed inside of it. That's what I want. All of these pieces, all 65 grams, the gold is exposed to the acid. All right, we're about three hours in. We're gonna shut this thing down and take a little look-see. Well, you know, nothing in too impressive. We got a couple gold folds floating around. But we've seen that before early in. All right, we're going to start this reaction vessel back up. Let her run. All right, we're five hours in, and I, I was making a mess over here. So I was going to reposition this air hose, and lo and behold, we got gold falls. Five hours in, breaking free. We're going to pick this up, reposition the air hose so we ain't making such a stinking mess. All right, we're eight hours in. We're gonna shut this reaction vessel down. We're gonna do our first filtration. Well, honestly, one of the trays here and the big one. I'm not that in, uh, not that impressed. Well, we have to wait and see how this turns out. But mm, why well, doesn't look like much has happened to these foals in eight hours? Now this is what I wanted to see. Gave it just a little once over scrub. I got a golden toothbrush. Ha! And it is quite impressive, actually. 
I don't know what it is yet, but I'm thinking 50, 60 percent, maybe even higher of the foils are gone in eight hours. Outstanding. I was pessimistic when I first saw it. But that's just one scrub. That's one go for about a minute. That's impressive. All right, we're going to finish this scrub a dub dub up. Get the filter in it, and we're going to see what we got. Nah, my mood has changed. Yes, very impressive. For eight hours, the first scrub a dub dub. We've got <laughs> a lot of fools in here in eight hours. Well, there it is. With what's in there. What's in there? Eight hours. Not bad. All right, we're going to get this in the filter, and we're going to get these uh, uh, these ram fingers back in solution. Probably do it a little bit differently this time, but we're going to get them back in solution. All right, eight hours, that's an impressive recovery. 64 grams or whatever it was. I went ahead and just put it in this bowl because they're falling off. There are already tons of fools in that solution already. So I'm just going to stick them in here and bubble them and just really work them for the next few hours, probably about four hours, you know, and I guess I got a little lazy. I probably should have put them back in, you know, the original apparatus, but I want to make some improvement. We'll go ahead and uh, get the glue gun out and make a lot of the airports where they were at permanent. I had a couple more. Because that worked. And it worked great. But a lot of these fools that are still on these things are just, I mean, they're just hang, barely hanging on. So we got 16 and a half hours to match our suspended agitation video. We got a 95% recovery there, 95% plus. All right. We're just finishing it up. We know this is going to work. Got some more solution to filter off. And there is just, you know, a, half the yield that we'll get out of this process. Not bad. We'll get this in in the aqua region sometime today. But our rack system, using those old electronics trays, because that's what they are. We found a process, I think, that we can do mass processing of this material. And uh, I, I believe this process and the first one, the first and last, the Alpha and the Omega is going to be the best. But, the name of the game is to get that stuff. And that's it.